There's something called adaptive intelligence. Eminem said that in one of his songs, like, I'm not a rapper, I'm an adapter. <laughs> he said it like that. I'm not a rapper, I'm an adapter. Yeah. So, uh, you have to know, like, which language to use with which type of person in order to get your communication clearly transmitted the, I mean, the correct way, right? Because some people listen. Some people will put a suit on and start cursing like they got, like they don't have a suit on. Because this is a really good example I just took because usually when people evoke the suit, right, in a conversation, or when you think about a suit, what do you think, like what comes in your mind first? Professionalism, right? Uh, expertise, you know, um, discipline, you know, someone that is well put together, moderation, you know, all these types of things, like they come in your mind and because the suit is supposed to represent that. The suit is supposed to represent someone that is a professional that speaks with um, moderation, that is assertive, that uh, not only speaks, but listens as well. And shit. <laughs> this is why you've always got to remember to not take a book by its cover. Because sometimes, man, some people will put a suit on and you think they are this character, right? Who doesn't cuss, who speaks with moderation, who listens, like sincerely listens, you know, who respects others' boundaries and stuff like that, but mm -mm. they will put a suit on and start cussing like a motherfucker. And they do not only cuss, they behave worse than somebody that had never had a suit on, that doesn't even know what a suit is, that comes from, that comes from, I don't even, I don't even want to say the ghetto because get the ghetto, like, is not a place by definition that is full of only bad people. The ghetto is full of everything. This is why I like to call this planet a ghetto planet because it's full of all type of stuff, right? And to get back to the description, these people not only speak in contradiction with what the suit represents, but they also behave worse. They behave like someone that doesn't even have clothes on. They behave like someone that was wearing zombie clothes, to be honest with you. How, like, how will you have a suit on? Like, let's get real, right? How will you buy a suit in the first place? How will you think about a suit? How will you think to, to have a suit? Like, okay, I'm going to buy that suit. The idea itself to buy a suit means that you know what a suit represents, right? You know that having a suit comes from embodying a certain behavior that is coherent with the suit, right? <laughs> but you have a lot of motherfuckers, man. <laughs> you have a lot of people. You have a lot of individuals who buy suits and come back. I'm not even going to say come back because it's like they never actually elevated themselves to the behavior of the suit to begin with. They buy the suit, but they never actually 
integrate or internalize the suit itself. This is why even when you see them with the suit, you have to look at their body language. You ever notice a motherfucker wearing hoodies? Right? You ever see somebody? I can't. I'm not gonna say motherfucker because my language triggers a lot of a lot of people. <laughs> you ever see a like you, you? You ever see an individual wearing hood? Me, I like wearing hoodies. Right? It's comfortable. You ever see somebody wearing hoodies and stuff like that? And it's more civil, more educated, more put together, more articulated, more assertive, more confident, more loving, more reflective, more intellectually, like, packed, right? More spiritually advanced, more physically like capable of someone else that is according to the superficial logic you know that is supposed to be better than that person just wearing the hoodie and a jogger and you get relaxed like a motherfucker <laughs> I'm sure you got someone in your hood or in your neighborhood, in your block somewhere, that always, I mean, almost all the time, wears hoodies, you know, slippers, socks, and stuff like that. And you'll be like, man, this nigga, man, it's, it's like, it's kind of weird. Like, I've never seen him get into fights. I've never seen him, like, looking for troubles for himself i've never seen him do any like dummy or stupid shit unless he is being deceived you know by people that might be that he might define as his friends you know or his associates i mean honest associates you know and you would be like when this thing is just, it just, it just minds his own business, like the whole time. But he looks by a certain erratic definition. It looks like a ghetto motherfucker. It looks like he's from the ghetto. He looks like a gang member. <laughs> you know, he looks like a gang member. He's wearing hoodies, he's throwing signs all over the place, he's, he doesn't, actually, you've ne you never see him close to people, like, it, it, it's like he doesn't like people, actually he likes people, but he doesn't like to be around people at all, it's, this nigga just weird as fuck. I'm sure you got a motherfucker in your neighborhood just like that. He be wearing all types of hoodies. Oh, like, he, he has some, he has a weird, like, I'm not gonna say a hoodie, like strictly hoodies, but he be dressing really strangely. He, he is very unique in his own self and behavior. He is very eclectic, right? He doesn't need to fit in one box. He be like, I can be that, and 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 still do myself. I can do it all. <laughs> I'm sure you got a motherfucker like that in your neighborhood. And even the people, sometimes even his parents, like, doesn't get him. They be like, no, you know, when you go out in the streets out there, you're supposed to come home by this time. Because, you know, don't, don't get out the block like that. You you be out you be out there you know riding your bike and uh, throwing signs everywhere and people think you a gang member and stuff like that people think you selling drugs and people think you this people think you that and he be like mama I'm not throwing gang signs these are mudras <laughs> mama be like what <laughs> what the hell is a mudra and he be like you know mudras. Mundras, Mundras, you know, it's Mundras. Do you know Mundras, mama? You don't remember? And mama be like, aye, go eat some. 
You might be tired. <laughs> You're bugging now. <laughs> you know, I'm sure you got a kid in your neighborhood like that, man. I'm sure of that. He be wearing all kind of socks, like weird socks, you know, with like. <laughs> Sometimes we think, man, this guy is hopeless. Like, it's hopeless to try to save him or tell him anything because he does. It seems like he doesn't listen to anybody. It seems like he's already self-consumed. And but nah, just just ask the kid, bro. Just ask the kid. Just pay attention to what he does, what he produces. You will know the fruits. You will know the tree by its fruits. And just give him time to express himself because these kids, and it's not only kids, sometimes you have grown-ups in a neighborhood that behave like that. Bro, or sister, let me tell you, so I know for a fact, they be producing or creating or coming up with all types of like mind-boggling <laughs> things. And when you tell them, how did you think about this? How, like, how, how did you do this? And they'd be like, it's nothing. <laughs> because sometimes they don't even know, like, where does the idea come from? They don't even know their own power, to be honest with you. They be just, they, they, they be out here just living a best life and they don't care. They happy as a motherfucker. They it's like they are never angry or when they when they are angry actually, they be speaking some heavy truths. They be checking everybody, even their own parents. It's crazy. These kids are crazy, I'm telling you. <laughs> These kids are crazy. These kids are they be checking their own parents. They be like, you ever seen a grown up? Like having a big argument with a kid, and the kid seems like the kid is the kid is like I'm not gonna budge because I know the truth, and the parent is like what truth, and they're like I know the truth, and the parent is like what truth, and until the shit is like all right, cool, let's just sit down and talk. You feel me? And the kid be like, you know, I knew that the whole time. You know, I knew you did that the whole time. You know, I knew you come from you know, grandmama's house. You know, and mom and grandmama is like that and. And the parent be like, oh, shoot, you knew all that, like, where? <laughs> where does your little head or your big head get this information from? And they keep like, doesn't matter. <laughs> they are ex extremely secretive. They are extremely introverted, secretive up in their own mind because they know subconsciously they know how powerful they are but consciously their thoughts are so compact that even for themselves it takes a lot of dots connecting to get it all together and when they finally connect the dot I mean the dots to get a picture. Once they get the picture done, they're so amazed. <laughs> they're so amazed by the picture that they can't even close their mouth, but they be smiling like <laughs> they be smiling like they saw some they saw something that they don't even have the words to express it. And when you ask them what did you see? Like, what did you say? What do you see? Why are you like, why, why do you smile so much? And they'd be like, do you like how I smile? Just smile too. <laughs> I'm sorry, I swear, bro. These people are so weird. It's, oh, man. These kids and the grown ups, because it's not only kids out there that behave like that. They are so weird. They are so weird. It's crazy. It's crazy. And actually, when you put them in a suit, this, this is what I wanted to say in the beginning of the video. 
when you put them in a suit, they look they look better than James Bond itself. They look better than 99.99% of everybody that ever put a suit on. They even look better than the person that created the suit, that needed the first suit. And they know that. They know, like, I can put a suit on. It's nothing. I can put a suit on, and I will look better than everybody. <laughs> and you know why they don't put a suit on most of the time? Because they are tired of fitting into a box just for pleasing the box or the person that created the box or the people that are already into the inside said box. When you expect them to put a suit on, they be wearing all types of crazy clothes. And when you expect them to be crazy like usual, they be putting suits on, they be, you know. <laughs> Man, these people are like, this, like, it's a small percentage of crazy people out there in the world that behave like that. You can call them all kinds of names you want, like unicorns and, and I don't know, like crazy people. Like, I me, mean, I love to call them just crazy because. I know what it feels like, like, to be like that, right? And I would advise you to, I mean, anyone that's listening, I would advise you to just do your best to to get to know that kid, man, because it's a... Uh, It's so beautiful. You, you'll be blown away by the things that kid could tell you about pretty much everything. <laughs> about yourself, about himself, about any fucking body in the whole hood <laughs> you didn't think of <laughs> doing some stuff. <laughs> that kid knows. That kid be knowing all kinds of shit, bro. But he, he, he be quiet as a motherfucker. If you don't ask, he's not telling. So, and he's savage. <laughs> he's savage. He's savage. He's savage. And I think when they are this much savage, it's because they have realized that the world, more often than not, and it's sad, the world only understands aggression or brutality that's a heavy truth right there it's like if you come soft when I say soft I don't mean weak or maybe it's better I say smooth if you come smooth the world is like mm, you think you're small huh <laughs> if you come smooth the world be like mm, I already know what you're trying to do huh you think you're smart and because these kids are so sensitive because they are impacts they are super impacts if I must if I, if I may they be like they take pretty much everything seriously I mean this is when they get triggered right they take like the little details the little words it's, it's like it's crazy I'm sure you got a kid in your neighborhood that behaves just like that just like that so be mindful of these people man in your neighborhood and do your best to get to know that kid. I mean, those kids and those grown-ups will behave like they don't give a fuck about the world. It's like, nigga, why, why don't you like do something recognizable by our level of perception and understanding? And they be like, ah. You wanted that? 
Like the whole time you wanted that, but you never asked. <laughs> they be savage as a mother. I'm telling you, <laughs> they be savage as a motherfucker. So, yeah, man. Try to like be. I'm not gonna say patient, but try to be present with these people because they. Uh, <laughs> I'm telling you, <laughs> their energy is so. It's like uh-huh, it's like they come from the future. Quote unquote, why? Right? right? Future. Because it's like they they already know this present that we're living in. They be like, I, I already know like everything, so I might as well just <laughs> get busy, right? It's like I might as well just get busy and doing some stuff because I, I already know like you feel me? I don't know, man. No, I know. Me, I don't have a kid yet, but I'm sure, like, if I ever meet a kid like that, or if my kid will, will be like, I mean, it's not a question of, like, no, it's not a question of if. But I'm sure, like, I'm going to do my best, man, to try to understand that kid and be present with him because I'm telling you, they be, they be on all, 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 all kinds of stuff, man. They be on all types of shit. <laughs> they be out here. <laughs> they be out here making all kinds of errands. They be completed all kinds of missions, like journeys. And stuff. It's 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 over with. It's crazy. It's just crazy. So, if you know a kid like that in your neighborhood, man, be thankful that you have a kid like that in your neighborhood in the first place, because they don't come. In any neighborhood, they be study. They be studying a neighborhood like for a very long time before they come in it. You know, and sometimes too they be acting dumb as a motherfucker because you know it's one doesn't work with the other. So extremely intelligent people or geniuses, they often have some heavy or irritating. Dumbness or stupidity attached to them, and it's only logical. It's only logical because you can't know it all. You can't. You can't do it all. You have to be stupid to a certain extent in order to get out of your mind, get out of your head, and actually go and meet with some other kids, you know, <laughs> or some other people that actually. Understand your craziness at a certain extent, to a certain extent, you know, and that really, 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 that are really into you, into your craziness, into your uniqueness, into your, (laughs) you know, and your vibe attracts the tribe, so if you have a kid like that in your neighborhood, oh, ground up. It all depends, right? Because they, they, they come in all shapes and forms. That's what the that, that's that's the joke about it. <laughs> Do your best to like maybe you can throw some you could throw some candy at the kid, right? Maybe you throw some candy and I mean don't throw, I mean not literally, but uh maybe you like you call him and like if you want some candy, maybe he doesn't like candy at all. Maybe he tells him, nah, nah, I don't, I don't like candies. I only eat fruits and vegetables. Because they be, I'll tell you, they be different, bro. <laughs> These kids be different. These kids be different. And when you expect them to eat fruits and vegetables, they be eating all, all types of shit. All types of shit that you wouldn't even think of. And their body digested like, a, like, like it's nothing. It's like, what? It's crazy. So, uh... Yeah, got to know the kid, man. Because the uh, <laughs> me, I love those kids, bro. I'm telling you, I'm in love with those kids, man. I'm in love with those kids. I'm in love with those kids because these kids are the embodiment of what a lot of people call the future, right? The embodiment of a better world of. Uh, Not something, but of pretty much everything better for everyone that deserves better and that had been, that 
has been working for better. So these kids, man, and these grown ups, these crazy grown ups, these crazy kids, take care of them <laughs> and get to know them for real because I'm telling you, they be on, they be on all, they be on all types of shit, all types of crazy shit. Like they be doing stuff they don't even understand, like consciously. And it's only later that they be like, "Oh shoot, I did that." <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> and their grandmama be like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah, you did that." <laughs> I was saying shit all the time. <laughs> and their grandpa be like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah, I know, I knew you was gonna do that. I knew, I knew that. It's not blood, you know." <laughs> Yeah, man. <laughs> Peace out. Man. Yeah, take care of the kids, man. <laughs>